doing that in the United States for uh, the last four years. Okay. Salting. First time we're going to use the Arctic Salter. But it's, uh, whew, out of breath. You have been running around. Well, we got a truck delivering steel, and he can't get up the yard because his tires are like that. But I guess we're going to have to salt it anyway, so it is what it is. So, although Arctic don't make this wireless, they made it with a remote control that goes with your wiring into the cab. So to eliminate the uh, all the wiring, I went wireless. That's the wireless module right here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to uh, go out now and salt down there. This is the only wires. This here is for the lighting up in the front, and this here is just for that module. And these here are my speeds, and I could trigger it. Flick, 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 flick. So I don't have the grate or the, the gate or anything set up, but hey. We shall see. We shall all learn together. Perfect. So we got, uh, what, about uh, 40 pounds of salt in there? Yes. That's about it. That's what we had left over from last year, so we're gonna try that now, right? So we'll see what happens. Yeah, you have to be careful, Kathy, because that's, yeah. that is slippery. So you might want to go down here on the lawn. Mm -hmm. That way you can, you can get me when I turn around. No, they can go up to six, right? I'll go up to five. Just watch. Whoa. We can pound it. Yeah. Uh -oh. We got salted. Fellas said, fellas just said to me on the line, online, they said, well, the tractor is going to rust out. But there's the collectors and everything, plus the pack. I made this up. So that in itself keeps it from getting back at the tractor. Okay, I'm gonna go down, you might as well go down the driveway.
Oh, wow. Yeah, well, I, have to down, I have to get down and get some salt. I'm not used to it. how much to put down. No. So I'll go and get some more and then I'll do that. Wow. I couldn't figure out why it wasn't coming out. It was already out. thing for instance the gate was open on I think the fourth adjustment and uh, it's open on the second now and it could go on the first okay so that all comes from that's experience. why that's why we got rid of it so quick right okay now I'm gonna put it on the last adjustment and uh, and that'll be fine because that's what I said to you last spring we haven't had a chance to test it no 
So basically what we do here now is we put it in on the shop floor, we pull out the pin here, let go of the two wires there, and just push it over in the corner. And it's it's ready to go for the next time, right? So and we still got about half as much sand again. So the next time we'll only go through a quarter to sand a quarter to salt. Yes. Because uh and fellows might ask, well, why is there so many numbers on it? Well, number one, it spreads that wide. Number two, it spreads that wide. Number three, it does all of Bay Roberts in the shop. <laughs> number six, does the profits. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. It's escalated then. Yeah. But the vibrator. The vibrator works quite well. You know, it helps. And I, here I was going there and said, boy, the I can hear the vibrator on. But you're not seeing I'm not anything. Seeing anything. I said, gee, it must be something jammed. What I got was it was bone dry. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, that's the Arctic Snowplow, or Arctic Snowplow's HM8P Salter. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Now, if you, know, if you only knew someone's a potato farmer, what a feed of salt and french fries you'd have. <laughs> huh? You get a big industrial one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Now in the meantime, if you never had any reason to use one of these for salt, what a rig for making coleslaw. Oh yeah. Put your cabbages and everything down in that, all that. And just lay your plates along the driveway. Oh. Turn her on eight. Give her. Give her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so now lots of ideas. Really I kinda of done this hastily because I have straps that go from here, or go from here to here, to keep it stable. But we've been waiting for the truck all morning, and I kind of just jumped in like a fireman, went down to fireman's pole, jumped in the machine, and went. Boom. So, anyway, if what you want to. Is he coming back? I don't know, you'll have to give him a call now and let him know that, that it's salted, and he should have no trouble getting up now. Perfect. With that, folks, we'll say, take care, look after yourself, wear a mask, be kind to each other, and stay safe. There you go, eh? Wow, that was easy. That's for the strobe lights. Two wires to run the remote. I might point out too, everything on, uh, on this machine is all galvanized, zinc, zinc plate galvanized. Uh, deflector chute, of course, is plastic. The, uh, all the gate system, it's all stainless steel. Down in here, all galvanized. Won't rust. So it's, look, it's a quality product. It's, you know, I, I, I can't really say enough good about Arctic because the plow that's been on this before the new one showed up was 30 years old. That's right. And it was on a pickup truck, or a pickup truck before that, uh, fr from new when it was 1993, right up to 2008. And we have a new Arctic now, and yet the other one's down there, and it's just as good as the day it was bought. So the, this product is made in Canada, and I can tell you, it's made to last. Now, I will admit, I've modified it. I put this cradle on it so that I can push it over in the corner and I can just turn it around and push it right into the receiver there. The, uh, the mold board of course is skid steer, universal skid steer and uh, we got that at the Newfoundland Kubota. That's right. And this here I made up as Prince's Auto and that's uh, American Steel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, you know, it, it works quite well. So, that's it. Just wanted to add that. So, there it is on the Ambio Tizzer. <laughs>